What is up, fellas? So, <laughs> we got another Harbor Freight. Use one of these so they don't lose everything. <laughs> really crazy um, it's connected to a sensor to kick it or you know shut it down so it doesn't go fucking nuts um, you got your micro switch here at the bottom which uh, it's a pressure sensor so pressure sensor on a micro switch which tells the um, the unit that it's set properly and to turn on and not set your buzzer off to let you know it's Fucked. And then, real simple, so uh, I might just, uh, you know, this is good, good cord, good cable here, um, and it's all just, you know, wired in easy, easily. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, this is good, I've got shrink wrap that I'll put on there, make a good joint, and everything will be set inside. Pretty easy. So a locking nut, and then here's this bottom one. This was, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna tighten this up a bit because it was just spinning in there. Uh, that's not a big issue. So now we got this out. Uh, I'm gonna push, push through those cables. One's connected at the micro switch, and then one goes up through there, which feeds the top, or through the coil, then up the top, and then this is connected to the um, high limit up there and then everything runs back down and all it's all one big happy circuit so all right so i got the connections out from the back just gotta pull this guy off and um it's wedged these look at that it's wedged these wires there's two sets of these wires already peeling apart but look at that it really crimps them down back there locks them in so what i'm going to do is um this one's on a three-way plug, so I'm just gonna strip it out here, strip out some wire, and I'm gonna go ahead and solder it up. Also gonna put some shrink wrap on it to um, seal them up. All right, so we've got all the wire stripped. Don't forget to feed the wire, let me see. feed the wire through, through the bottom, and do all the work on this side so that you can go ahead and reinstall this plug at the end so uh, you don't get stuck uh, cutting a hole in the side or something to feed out the wire from the back so I'm trying to make it look as factory as possible with uh, some soldering and not knowing and then also put your shrink wrap on prior to uh, soldering up all right, so I've got this one. I had to stop halfway and run off and take care of some shit, but um, it's looking all right. Could be better. I'm gonna clean it up and make all this make all this nice and smooth. If this will focus, and anyways, gonna make this all clean up. Bought a new tool over the weekend. It's a Milwaukee. It's a snips and crimper. I'm gonna try this out and see how it is. I like Milwaukee. Um, Need to do a review on these. This Milwaukee. This is uh, some strippers and uh, pliers with a cutter. So um, I like these a lot. So here's more of a dedicated crimper. So take a look at that when I have some time. All right. So these are on there, nice and tight, and not the greatest, but there is a big bubble of wire that's looped up together. So I'm gonna use the pink lighter and light off. Uh, Because I want to keep these on the inside now, I'm going to tuck them up right it right behind here, and then I'll put that fucking thing on that little clip. Little clip was a pain in the ass, but and then micro switch and all that. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Just kill this light. Boom. So that's over there. Seventy-five. Overheat. All right. You're good to go. You can see that those are starting to close. Are starting to heat up a bit. I think we're good to go. I don't see any smoke. Let's see, don't smell anything. <laughs> uh, so we're all back in business. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more random content like this or anything that we've got going on. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.